New at 10, vandals in Oak Creek wreaking havoc on one neighborhood, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Shannon Sims is live at the Oak Creek Police Station with the latest on the investigation. Shannon. Carol, I talked to a number of homeowners tonight, many of them not concerned about the cost of to repair those damages, but more so about the damage that could have been caused had those BBs or pellets hit someone inside. Oak Creek Estates is a quiet subdivision off the main drag, so neighbors were puzzled to find vandals had targeted their street. And then I came outside and took a look, and I'm like, oh, geez, it's a, it looked like a like a BB gun or a gunshot. Matt Bursch quickly realized his house was not the only one. There's one, two, three, four houses I think that got hit. Four or five, something like that. This car was hit twice. The cost to repair the property damage is in the thousands. No, I don't want to spend $1,400 on, on something like that. I think it's just kids having too much time towards the end of the summer before school gets going and, and doing some silly things. But even if it is some young pranksters, their actions are no laughing matter. One house was hit at least three times. Two of those BBs piercing the upstairs bedroom window where a little boy was sleeping when the vandal struck. It's uh, anything that looks like a firearm. Somebody could be asking for trouble. Somebody could walk out, see something like that, and the situation could get escalated. Oak Creek police are asking if you know any information about this incident to call Crime Stoppers, the number at the bottom of your screen. Reporting live in Oak Creek, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. Hopefully they will find these perpetrators. Thank you very much, Shannon.